in the last class we were seeing how to form the uh, product of some sum, sum of equations okay sum of product equations expressions of boolean expressions now uh, in a short we will see the min term and max term before going to the next topic so you know how to arrange this uh, you know how to write this uh, binary values in ascending order okay so this value is equivalent of 0 this is equivalent of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 already i have told you how to uh, how to uh, generate this values okay you have to divide say for example if you have 5 you have to divide it continuously by 2 and then you have to uh, get the value of uh, binary equivalent Okay, this is how you find the equivalent. And the min terms, you can write as a, if it is 0, then you have to write it as x bar. Here, 0 means y bar, z bar. And all are multiplication. And so this can be, uh, in a logical circuit, you can express this in terms of AND gate. Okay, where you give 3 inputs. So using a 3 input gate, uh, 3 input AND gate, you can form this. Okay, now this is for this you write x bar, y bar, and then this is z. Okay, one. So it is z you write. And this is equivalent of one. Now, when uh, you write it uh, in terms of symbol, you write it as m0, that is term, min term m0, min term one, two, three, four, and five. So here it is x bar, y, and z bar. Whereas, the same thing, when you write for max term, it will be reverse. If it is 0, you should not write it as x bar. You have to write it as x. Okay. So, if it is 0, you write directly x. If it is 1, then you write it as bar. You will write that particular variable with bar. Okay. That means, so that is how you have to write. So, here x, you see here x, y, and is that on all you have to add. So this can be question can be expressed in terms of a logical gate using an OR gate, three input OR gate. Okay, so M0, that is max term. So M0 can be expressed as X plus Y plus Z. Then for this, it is X plus Y plus Z bar. See here, if it is one, then here it is a bar. Whereas here it is reverse, X bar, Y bar and Z. Okay, it's complete opposite. And then instead of AND, you use plus symbol, okay, addition. So this is the main difference between a min term and max term. And that is what we have seen in the previous classes, how to write a POS and SOP. Okay, sum of product and product of sums. Now, we'll see uh, how to express a Boolean function in canonical POS form. So in any POS or SOP form, the main criteria is it must have all the variables. If it has a four variable expression, somewhere there will be four variables. So you will be you will able to identify whether it is a two variable or three variable, okay, or four variable. So if it is a three variable, then in, in any term, a particular variable is missing, then you can say that it is not a complete equation. So what you have to do is you have to introduce it. So depending upon whether it is a POS or SOP, if it is a sum of product, then you will introduce as X plus X bar or Y plus Y bar and so on. If it is a POS, then you will be introducing it as a uh, X and form. Okay, A into A bar or B into B bar like that. Now we'll see how to express the Boolean equation in a canonical POS form. Now let us take this as a Boolean equation. If you see A, B, C is that, okay. Now you consider this as a three variable. Then if you see here, B, C, D, which means here itself you will decide, this also will consider, because from four variables only, this got reduced. Okay, this is actually a reduced equation, but I want it to expand to canonical POA so that I can draw the uh, circuit, etc. Okay, so logical circuit, etc. So that is the main thing. So now what we do is not only logical circuit, in order to form a canonical POS, we go for expansion. 
So here A, B bar, C, B bar, C plus D bar. Here you can see A is missing. So which means here, here B is that, here D is missing. If you see here, all the four variables are that, which means in this case, D is missing and in this case, A is missing. So those variables, you have to introduce that. So let us take the first term. D is missing. So the second term, as I say, A is missing. So let us take the first term, A plus B bar plus C. Now, how to substitute the fourth variable, that is the, the missing variable, say, since it is a POS form, okay, you have to introduce uh, its and form. That is D into D bar. The missing term, you have to enter it like this. D into D bar. Now, then you have to apply that. You can apply the distributive law. So when you say that, you can take this as within bracket. So A plus B bar plus C plus D multiplication. A plus B bar plus C plus D bar. Like that you write. So if you see this equation, uh, this uh, the missing variable is introduced. Now same way B bar C plus D bar. B bar C D bar. The missing variable is A. So you introduce A, A bar. Then again, the same way you write B bar plus C plus D bar plus A. So now we brought that A in the front. And then here, A bar plus B bar plus C plus D. Multiplication here. Okay, all these are added. These are on a max term. So max term. And then they will be multiplied. Okay. Now you substitute this value here. For A, B bar, C, you substitute this. Okay. So A, B bar, C, D, A, B bar, C, D bar. Then you substitute this for this. So A, B bar, C, D bar, A, B bar, C, D bar, and then finally this. Now we'll take another example. This is uh, previous, what we have seen is POS, canonical POS form. Now we'll see canonical SOP form. Now here, the min term, sum of min term, sum of products. Okay. Here, if you see that D is there, whereas it is missing here. Here, two variables are missing. Now, we have to introduce them. Let us take the first term, A, B bar, C. Since D is missing, we can multiply that with D plus D bar. See, here we have added, okay, D, D bar. Whereas here, we are multiplying it with D plus D bar. Then again, you apply the, uh, you, you can apply the multiplication. Now. So, here, A, B bar, C, D. Then A, B bar, C, D bar. Same way here, A, B bar. Here two variables are missing. First, we will go with the first variable. That is C. First, we will go with this variable C. C plus C bar. So now expand, you get this. Then write this value here. Again, you substitute the next missing variable, D plus D bar. Now, when you take, you again multiply them and expand them and write it. So A, B bar, C, D. Okay. Then A, B, A, B bar, C, D bar. This term. Same way here, A, B bar, C, sorry, A bar, B bar, C bar, D. A bar, B bar, C bar, and D bar. Okay. So now you write all these terms together. Now you will get this equation. So A, B bar, C, D, A, uh, you substitute this. For this, you substitute this. And then for uh, this term, you substitute this, and then finally, already we have A, B, C body test. And while substituting, if any value is uh, coming again, you can remove it, okay? So that there will be no repetition. Only one occurrence of the particular combination. See to that, you have only one combination. Then again, we take another example expressing of this in canonical SOP form. We have A plus B. In the above, the first term, B is missing. Okay, the second term, I think this is wrong. Uh, yes, sorry, sorry, this is correct only. Here A plus B is there because it is an SOP form. SOP form means what? It is uh, min term. Okay, so here it must be AB and AB. Whereas here A must come, here B must come, but the terms are missing. So what we do? A into here, B plus B bar. Same way here, 
b into a plus a bar. Now expand it. Now you will get here uh, a b a b is occurring two times. So you remove one a b and you can write only once. You should not write it as two a b. This is not a normal algebra. This is only a Boolean algebra. So you should not add it and write. Okay, only one time occurrence you have to take. Then we'll take another example for uh, writing it as a canonical SOP form. A, B plus A, C, D. In the first term here, here if you take uh, a B is missing, whereas here two variables are missing, C and D, because definitely since D is there, it will have a four variable. So let us take the first equation, first, sorry, first term, and you expand it, C plus C, but you, even you can work with only one variable, and then you can substitute D plus, that is what here we have done, even if you have written here, we first substituted this, okay, and then we have taken this, now we have A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D bar, and then the, multiply this, and multiply this, and write the term, now A, C, D, we miss B, so B plus B bar, you expand it. Finally, what you write is you combine this and this and you write. Here, one, two, three, four, five. Five terms are there. Whereas here, one, two, three, four, five, six terms are there. Why? Because A, B, C, D is repeating. So we write once. That is why it is five terms. Then we'll see how you can write a truth table for this. Now, first we write a canonical SOP form. A plus B, C. So in this B, C is missing, here A is missing, okay. So now we'll see B plus B bar to substitute and C plus C bar. So then uh, here B, C, A plus A bar. Then A, B, A, B bar, again C plus C bar. Here A, B, C, A bar, B, C. Now what we do is A, B, C, A, B, C bar, A, B bar, C, A, B bar, C bar. Okay, now finally we get this value. Two, four, six. Two, four, five is that. That is because it must some uh, I think it is repeating. ABC is there. Yeah, that yeah, this ABC. This is repeated again. So we write one term. So one term is reduced. Now you can write truth table for this. There is no need to write truth table for this because this will take a. Uh, you have to write a lot of uh, since it will include a lot of columns. So you can skip this. But even if you write this truth table for this, you will get the same answer. Okay. So we'll write for this A plus B, C. A, B, C, you take the combinations and then B, C because we, we calculate this value. So you multiply this, this, and this, and you will get. Uh, here you get one, here you get one, in all the other places, zero. Now add with the value A plus B, C. So when you do that here one, here one, here one, here one, and here one. Now, how you can verify your answer with the canonical SOP? See here, A, B, C. What is A, B, C? All one, one, one. So this, for this you have one. Okay, then A, B, C bar, that is one, one, zero. What is that? One, one, zero, you have one. Okay, so wherever it has one, that is what the expression we are writing here. Okay, so here if you say that, see here, A bar, B, C. So A bar, B, C is here, that we have written here. Then A, B bar, C bar, that is A, B bar, C bar. That is having a one. Because in SOP, we check for ones. Remember, you check for ones and you will write the respective combinations and you express them as a min term. So you can verify that whatever you are getting here will match this. Okay, so when you express this and expand this, you get this value. You can draw the truth table for this equation, not for this equation, and you can verify your answer. You have to write the min terms for the respective combinations wherever the one is occurring. And then you can verify whether this equation is equal to this equation. Now we'll see an example for Boolean function in canonical POS form. So A plus B bar, B plus C. So C is missing. So here we have to oh, write the C term. Okay, implement the C term. 
So A plus B bar, B plus C, A plus B first, let us take this. A plus B bar, C, C bar. Then you do multiplication, uh, this, and then again, all these things are added. And again, uh, all this uh, A plus B bar plus C bar is formed and you put it in a bracket so that they will be multiplied. And now you can see it is product of sums. This is a sum, this is a sum, product of sum. Okay. So same way for BC, A is missing. So write that. And then finally, you write that equation. You can write a truth table for this. In this, what you have to do is, you have to check for zeros. Okay? You have to check for zeros. And then you have to take it in reverse of the input. And then you can verify your answer. Then, these are all the, some more example is given. Um, so here, canonical POS form and canonical SOPM for the same equation has been written. So here, yes, uh, A plus B bar C SOP. So what you do is here, you substitute, make it as a min term, B plus B bar, C plus C bar, and so on. I hope all of you are now able to understand how we got this result. So this is nothing but one, one, one. So it is M7. This is one, one, zero, which is nothing but six. Then this is one, zero, one, which is five, M5. And this is one zero zero four, and this is zero zero one, which is m one. And you can write it as like the sum of uh, like this summation symbol within bracket. It is one, four, five, six, and seven. Now canonical POS form. This can be written as as we have seen. You have to substitute C. That's uh, a, a, you have to write the substitution as a min term. Even if it is a maximum, here you have to write its min term, its complement, a missing variable and its complement as min term, and then you have to expand, multiply it and expand. So finally, if you see that here, you have to substitute zero for this. Okay, if you see here, we have substituted one, whereas here it is not so. So zero, one, and then zero. So zero, one, zero is two. Then here, zero, one, one, which is nothing but three. Zero, zero, and zero, which is M zero. So this can be represented with this product symbol, zero, two, and three. Then note down the following exercises, and then you work out the, find out the SOP form of the given Boolean expression. And uh, you have to write a, see this is a suppose, a three variable truth table has a high output for these input conditions. Okay, zero, zero, zero. This is zero, zero, zero. Zero, one, zero. Uh, if all the other outputs are low, what is SOP form? So if for this, you have to draw the truth table and then you have to write the solution. Okay, so the solution. Then suppose a three variable truth table has a low output for the three inputs, the respective inputs. If all the other outputs are high, what is POS solution? Okay, so take down this uh, problem and work out and make it as an assignment, right? 